Good morning. Saturday. It's uh, the first Saturday in February. It's beautiful out here. It's February 4th. Um, we've got a new president and had a new president um, for about three weeks now. His name is Donald J. Trump. And um, it seems that some people are still rather upset and angry, hurt and afraid um, because Donald Trump is now the president of the United States. If I could offer a piece of advice, not like you can stop me, but if I could offer a piece of advice, um, <clears throat> you can do whatever you want. But those of you who are up, still upset and angry and afraid of what a Donald Trump presidency is going to be like and what's going to what it's going to offer to the United States and indeed the world, the more that you go down this particular path, the protests, the the inviting violent um, protesters to enter your protests without doing proper vetting on who agrees with you and who they really are, um, the more that there are burned out cars and, and broken windows, the fewer people that you're going to get on your side. You have to understand that just the election of Donald Trump is evidence that the left is losing their grip with America. Just the election of Donald Trump proves that you are losing your grip with America, that you are not um, connecting with who Americans are and what Americans want, what Americans want and what Americans believe. Just the election of Donald Trump should show you that you are now on the outside looking in. There needs to be an incredible amount of introspection in the leftist movement and the Democrat Party. My advice is that you start there. After the Republicans and those on the right lost the election in 2012 um, to Barack Obama, there was similar upset, there was similar discourse inside the movement, and there was similar um, uh, you know, people wondering what, what had happened. How was this possible? Rince Priebus is not my favorite person, but at least they had the, the, the smarts and the guts to do a postmortem, and they looked into what had happened. Now, I don't know if they fixed any of those things in four years. <clears throat> because in 2016, they sort of threw the kitchen sink at, at the presidential election. But they were able um, to win, the, win in 2014. They were able to win in 2016. My advice is to leave the street start knocking on doors, start looking at who is leading your movement, what they're saying, and are people buying it? If they're not, then you have to decide if you're going to change or if you're going to change your methods. But, but the riding every weekend is a failed strategy. Good luck.